Hello and welcome to another StarCraft 2 commentary video. This is Gum Jabbar. And I am the Terran in the bottom left of the Zelnaga Caverns, and my opponent, you Ben Franked, is the Protoss at the top right. This is a Platinum League matchup. Um, usually I do play random, but in this game I actually chose Terran. I've been trying to work on macroing with Terran better. Uh, I find it's a lot harder because of the uh, unit queuing that you have to worry about. And you have to really make a lot of unit producing structures once you get on two or three bases. So, you know, after, after I expand once or twice, I just can't keep my money low. And I'm really working on improving that. So, uh, let's see. In this uh, game, uh, it is Terran versus Protoss, so um, basically you're just going to see me make Marines and Marauders. <laughs> right now that seems like all Terran can do. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's ghosts too, and I should have made those, but anyway. Um, Eben Franked is harassing me with his probe, and this is really annoying for a Terran, because if that, that probe is going to target the SCV building, and um, you need to basically pull another SCV out and protect it. So I managed to do that, and I'm chasing him around a little bit, and I'm going to give up and send him to mine a little bit. Meanwhile, we have this guy scouting here, and I'm going to check around. <coughs> and he's still attacking, but my barracks is going to finish, so I just don't care anymore. I'm going to send him back. A lot of the time when the Protoss does this, it really throws off my build and I end up forgetting stuff and screwing me up. And he really really wants to kill this one STV. And that one too, so I'm going to retreat it. Uh, so I'm, r I'm trying to dance my SCV around. He keeps attacking it, like, run away, run away SCV. And now my Marine is out, so it's pretty safe. And uh, somehow or another, he caught my scouting SCV on the minimap and it died. That's unfortunate. But you can kind of expect your scouting SCV to die most of the time. Now my money's getting a little high right now. And I'm in a mule. Go ahead and build in a, a supply depot at my ramp. I did scout for any kind of proxy gateway, but um, it's you know, possible he was planning on some kind of zealot attack, so I, gen I tend to wall off against Protoss anyway. Complete. And Supply Depot is almost done, but I am momentarily supply blocked. Alright, that's finished. And building another barracks, Supply Depot. Um, I don't think you really need two gas geysers when you're going bio. Now that was probably a mistake, I cancelled that uh, Supply Depot because I thought I was supply blocked again, but then I saw that I, I wasn't because a supply depot just finished. So anyway, canceling buildings, though, you lose some money. At this point, I see that he does not have hardly anything, so I'm going to go ahead and move out. Now, these early attacks with uh, a marine and, or two marines and a marauder, like as soon as you get a marauder out, it's pretty good to attack. Uh, <coughs> And a lot of the time, Terran can just end the game right there because Marauders Complete. destroy any early gateway units. Well, any any gateway unit, period. Um, and, you know, early game, it's tough for um, Protoss to do anything. So I'm going to send them up there, poke a little bit. And whoa, two zealots guarding the ramp. Gonna try and kite them a little bit. Not doing the best job though, unfortunately. Um, I need to pull back that front guy. There, we pull him back, pull him back. There we go. Now he's gonna target that one. Micro, come on. Yeah, my micro needs some work, I admit. And uh, I do have concussive shell already researched. I got that before stim. That's something I'm messing with a little more in Terran versus Protoss. I think that's a pretty good choice. You don't need stim as much as you need concussive. Uh, I am supply block, so I decided to use a supply drop there. Um, 
Personally, I think people over uh, overuse mules. Yeah, they give you a lot of minerals faster, but if you don't need those minerals faster, it's sometimes a lot better to just use a scan or to use a supply drop. Supply drop, for example, uh, a supply depot costs 100 minerals. And if you mule, yeah, you get like 300 minerals faster than you would normally, but that's still uh, coming out of your minerals at your base. You know, you're going to get mined out faster when you mule. But if you throw down a supply drop, that's uh, 100 free minerals that isn't on the map. Uh, so that can actually, in a long macro game, that, that could be pretty helpful. I now have four marauders moving in. Uh, meanwhile, I need to build a supply depot. Uh, you can look at what I'm actually focusing on in the bottom of the screen, what I've selected. Right now, you can see I switch back to my barracks and um, build stuff and then switch back. And right now, switching back and forth. Um, it's pretty helpful to uh, hotkey your army so that you can do that. <coughs> now the only time you should actually be looking at your base is when you need to build buildings or, you know, call down a mule or chrono boost or object larva. Um, but just to be building stuff, you can do that entirely from hotkeys and you should be focusing on your army instead. Now at this point, I see he has an immortal and um, that's going to be really good if he micros properly, so I'm going to back off a bit. I'm um, just chilling at his natural expansion to make sure that he's not expanding, and in the meantime I have my command center up, and I'm going to be building an uh, orbital command, and then I'm going to float it over. And he has a really big army right now, so I'm going to be pulling my guys back to this watchtower. Uh, actually all the way back to my natural because I'm expanding now and uh, I want to be pretty defensive at this point so still just making marauders and I'm um, actually making some marines at this point uh, because I saw that immortal and marines pretty pretty much destroy immortals transferring my SCVs down to my, my natural expansion. That might have been a few too many, but whatever. The reason you do this is to uh, quickly kickstart your economy once that expansion lands. Um, so you actually want to build more SCVs than you need early on. You, you really never want to stop building workers um, until you have like 60 or 70. <coughs> Or you're doing like a timing attack, you know. But, yeah, so you want more workers on the one base than uh, are needed, so that once your second base goes down, you can instantly saturate. At this point, I realize, if you look at the top right, my money, or my uh, gas is actually quite high. And I don't need two gas geysers at the moment. So I, I had two options there. Um, what I did was pull guys off of that second gas geyser, and even off the first one. Um... So I just have one guy in each geyser right now. Uh, I think I didn't actually need to get that second geyser at all. So that was a waste. Furthermore, I could have gone for a ghost academy instead. and go Because ghosts eat up a lot of gas and they're very useful against Protoss. In any case, I'm not mining very much gas right now and that'll eventually catch up. Um, once I'm on two bases, my money is climbing up a bit, so I need to make more barracks, and I just throw down as many as possible to keep my money low. I'm going to stim and take this out. Uh, not the best army positioning, but my barracks that I'm building are actually taking a lot of hits. Those immortals that he has are doing significant damage, and um, this is going to be a very close fight. I need to use my marines to target those immortals, and I'm not quite doing the best job of that. Uh, he is going to destroy that. It's really important to take the time, even during these battles, to uh, macro and to make sure all your buildings are hotkey. Uh, I don't know how many times I have been trying to macro and still my money's getting high. And then when I look at the replay, some of my build my uh, buildings or my hatcheries or, or aren't hotkeyed at all, and I'm not even using them. Or um, 
you know, some of my gateways aren't warp gates. I do that a lot. So, <clears throat> it's, Hot King buildings is so important, especially as Terran, because that's pretty much how you macro. So, uh, I'm getting my uh, natural expansion down. I just destroyed his army, which means that it is fairly safe for me to expand right now. He's not going to be attacking me right at the moment. So I'm going to be destroying these rocks. And at some point here, I'm going to be going and expanding. And I see that he's just getting his natural up. He's definitely not going to be attacking me right now. And I'm pretty confident I can hold off any attacks. So, I'm going to go ahead and, yep, still hotkey my buildings. 